I'll never be a weightlifter. A bodybuilder is primarily concerned with contracting his muscles. A weightlifter is just concerned about moving weight. You know, and he can boast to you about how much he curls, how much he benches. You know, how much do you lift? You're a weightlifter. It's really not important to me. Make no mistake about it, as hard as this is, as hard as this is, this is what I want to do. This is what I want to do. You know, and some people can make fun of it. They can crack jokes, they can sit back and analyze and, you know, criticize and make all the fun they want. But I'm living my life. I'm doing it. What are you? You know, there's no one else to blame. And there's no one else to look to to um, expect that they'll pull up the slack. This is, this is your game. That there's a certain kind of desperation that you're going to need to have, period, that will make you the athlete that will be capable of tapping into your champion. This is the work, though, that will produce the desired end result. It's, you know, being able to climb in the trenches now when it's not convenient, it's not comfortable. There's work you gotta do on your own and you gotta be willing to, to bust your ass and get it done. Not have the excuses about, well, I can't because I'm, I don't know how to cook. Or I can't because I don't, I'm not a nutritionist. I gotta, I gotta work, wait till I can save up money to pay a nutritionist. And then I'll turn pro. No, you do the things that you can do to the best of your ability. You cook every meal, prepare for all day. Your steps do not happen randomly by chance. But what about if this comes up? You don't get caught off guard. Proper preparation prevents poor performance. And I want this so bad that I'm gonna do everything I can do all day, you know, to get closer and closer to making that dream a reality. You have to set a standard for yourself that is very, very, very high, you know, um, and you have to manage yourself to keep your thoughts where they need to be in order to allow you to be successful at what you're trying to do. One way you can say, absolutely I can, is not with your mouth, but with your actions. You should be able to imagine each one of those fibers that cross strike, the things that pop out. You should be able to see that in your mind and imagine that here on you as you are working. And each time you contract, you want to imagine that that is coming. That is the result. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Contract. Stretch, 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 stretch. Contract. Nine. Four. Five. Six. Oh. Let's get it. tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me or nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Because in life, it's really always up to you. It's always up to you. It's always up to you. You know, what do you do? Tremendous power, you know, that just rests in your hands. Always. Tremendous power, whether you're, whether you're a king or a slave. 